could skin cancer be caused by bacteria? We've all heard about gut microbiome, and we talk a lot about it on our channel. And gut microbiome is this amazing community of microbes in our digestive tract that influences everything from digestion to immunity. But did you know that our skin also has its own microbiome? And a new research that we will discuss today suggests that subtle changes in this invisible ecosystem, in this microbiome, might actually reveal if you are at the higher risk for skin cancer even before a single spot appears. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Maria Zizian, a board-certified general surgeon and an IFM-certified functional medicine physician. On this channel, I share health tips on skin health, food and supplements, functional medicine, surgery, and the latest medical research to help you feel your best. And if that sounds good, please like, share with your friends and family, and subscribe. When we talk about microbiome, we usually mean the gut, but that's just one neighborhood, so to speak, in a much bigger microbial city. We also have a skin microbiome that is home to bacteria, fungi, and viruses that live right on your skin's surface. We talk about oral microbiome in the mouse, a vaginal microbiome in women, and even a lung microbiome. And each one plays a unique role in keeping you healthy or sometimes, unfortunately, making you sick. And just like neighborhoods, their makeup can change. And that depends on your age, on environment, on uh, genetic susceptibilities, and or especially on your immune system. So let's look at the latest research about a connection between squamous cell carcinoma of the skin and the skin microbiome. In recent paper, the researchers ask the question, could the skin microbiome help us spot people at high risk for squamous cell carcinoma of the skin? before it actually appears. And the reference to this article is in the description of this video. So, but first, what is squamous cell carcinoma? So squamous cell carcinoma, or SCC, is the second most common type of skin cancer. And it often appears as a rough, scaly patch. It could be a sore that doesn't heal, or sometimes it could be a wart-like growth. And while most cases can be treated successfully, especially when found early, SCC, unfortunately, can grow and invade deeper tissues and lymph nodes and even spread to other parts of the body if ignored or uh, found late, and which is why early detection and monitoring are so important. So right now, we mostly identify high-risk patients based on history, some genetics that's actually becoming more and more widespread, and we ask patients if they've had several squamous cell carcinomas before, and that makes them a higher risk, which means that if you've had several squamous cell carcinomas before, that you're more likely to get more. But that's a little bit simplistic, and it's almost like waiting for the fire to start before installing the smoke detector. So this is what the researchers did in this study. Gathered three groups of patients. First, the high-risk group. So people who had more than two prior squamous cell carcinomas, some had over 10, actually. The low-risk group, people with two or fewer prior squamous cell carcinomas. And the third group was organ transplant recipients, a group known to be immunosuppressed and at much higher risk for skin cancers. And I actually had patients in that group who had 50-plus squamous cell cancers since after the transplant. So from each patient, they swapped six different areas of skin from both sides of the body and then sequenced all the DNA from those samples. This let them see not just the bacteria, but also the fungi and viruses living there on the skin. This is what they found. When they analyzed 249 skin microbiome samples, a striking pattern emerged. The high-risk and transplant groups had more of certain fungi and those fungi were Malassezia restrictor and Malassezia globosa. And also, they had more of certain viruses like beta papillomavirus. The low-risk group had much less of these microbes. And here's the kicker. These changes were often invisible. The patients didn't necessarily have obvious fungal or viral skin problems. So what does it mean? We don't yet know if these microbes are causing skin cancer or if they're incidental, meaning that they're simply moving in because of the other immune system changes. 
But either way, they may serve as a warning sign, actually early warning sign. For example, if somebody suddenly develops more warts or other subtle viral or fungal changes, especially if they're fair-skinned or immunosuppressed, it could be a signal to monitor them more closely. From the functional medicine standpoint, as we always talk about that on this channel, so your microbiome, whether it's in the gut, skin, mouth, lung, or elsewhere, is a reflection of your overall immune health. So if further research confirms that the skin microbiome shift can signal early squamous cell carcinoma risk, we could see then routine skin microbiome screening for high-risk patients. That would be very exciting. That would be very helpful because that could detect their cancer before it comes on. And we obviously will see personalized prevention plans that focus on the immune support. In summary, your skin isn't some passive shield. It is an active, living ecosystem. And paying attention to it may help us one day to prevent one of the most common forms of skin cancer, such as squamous cell carcinoma. So this is a very promising research. If you're interested in looking and treating your chronic skin conditions through a functional medicine lens, through a functional medicine approach, then feel free to contact us at Mindful Medical Functional Clinic. And as always, I recommend that you start with scheduling your free 15-minute discovery call with me to see if it is the right fit. We focus on treating chronic skin conditions such as eczema, acne, psoriasis, chronic rashes, dermatitis, hives, and so on. And of course, we implement a root cause approach, and that includes personalized supplements, lifestyle changes, recommendations, and the hardest thing, dietary changes. Our clinic is available to residents of Massachusetts, California, New Hampshire, and Vermont. And you can learn more by visiting our website at mindfulmedicalfunctionalclinic.com or calling us at 508-444-6989. And the link to our website is in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Until next time, bye-bye.